Hello everybody. Just another update video. Um, these are my two original rabbits, two does, and they're sisters. And for a long time I actually separated them, but uh, I decided that I'm going to put them together. I think I talked about that in the last video, just to give them an opportunity to uh, have companionship and uh, they're doing well together, they like each other. And what I actually did is I combined those two cages by adding this little um, metal mat here. So they can go actually from one cage to the other. So if they choose to hang out together, they can do that. Or they can just go on here. And uh, this is held by a chain. And then they go into the other cage, which is actually a bigger cage. So hopefully now she's going to demonstrate that for me. And she does, yes. Because I put a little treat out there for her. So she can go here. And then she can go in the other cage. Perfect. So just a little Jerry right here. And now they're quite happy. They can have their own space, they can have more space, and they can hang together. So that's a new innovation. And I'm going to try and do that more and more with these rabbits to have them bond and um, stay together in pairs. Like these two, they successfully bonded. They're not related to each other. And she is actually quite dominant, but for some reason she respects her. and they don't fight too much. I tried putting one of the white ones with her together and that didn't work out at all. They were just, uh, one of them took an injury to, to the ear. So, but that works well. So here are the chicks. They are probably four weeks old by now. These are the layer chicks. And they now have access to this run as well. And they really love hanging out here. There are a lot of larvae or worms in this ground because of all the rabbit manure. And we here in California have a fig beetle. And that guy loves to lay its eggs right in here. And so every once in a while I'll dig it up for them. And then they can get to the worms. And as they get older, they can dig for themselves and get those. Um, so that's happening. Now we're gonna look over here. And I started um, putting my meat chickens out during the day so that they get accustomed to it because eventually they're all gonna live outside. So here we have 25 Cornish Cross and they're hitting the three week mark. So another three weeks and they're almost ready to go unbelievable they're this small right now but they're gonna grow so much in the next three weeks because they're constantly eating and there you can see that I remove the food at night but during the day they have constant access to the feed and in the morning you should see them in the morning I should take a video when they are when they're sort of parched and they're ready to get their breakfast in it's like a, it's like piranhas in the Amazon. Just a whirlwind. So I have this tractor, and I really have them out here, so that they can fertilize my lawn. They spend a couple of hours here, and that lawn is completely um, pooped over. And then I just hose it down at night, and it's perfect. That's all I have to do. So, but eventually I will put them in here. I just, I'm waiting for another week or so for them to feather out a little bit more. And this is a raised garden bed. And we're done with the vegetables. So whatever is in here, just gonna leave. And there's a little rabbit in there right now. And I'm gonna use this whole area to raise my meat chickens in there. And eventually they're gonna to get too big for it as well. And then this space 
which is about 11 feet by 4 feet I would guess. I'm gonna take half of them in these individual uh, raised bed cages as well and just spread them out. They can fertilize the ground here. There's still some herbs in here. So I might keep this one, but everything else here is basically done for the season. So I'll have chickens in here and eventually some rabbits as well to give them more space to run around and to dig everything up and to fertilize it. So that's where we are. Lastly, let's take a look at these chicks or chickens. There's not really anything going on here. Um, I let them out the other day and it took me a while to bring them back in so it was already dark and somehow a rat got in here. Usually this is completely rat free inside here but now I have a little rat living somewhere here in this corner and not sure um, we'll be able to trap her. Or just leave the door open and maybe it'll come out at some point. Um, I had some r rats living up here between the metal roof and the hardware cloth, and especially in the back area. And that's obviously, in terms of biosecurity, um, not good because it's, uh, they're going to be pooping through the hardware cloth into the run. So what I did here is I actually had to raise the roof even more so that there is more space here. All this was filled with leaves and there were rat nests in here. And now it's big enough that actually a cat or a raccoon can get under here and that did the trick. But I think I'm going to have to do that with all the roofs as well here because I can see there's a new rat nest right in that hole over there. So this is all on the outside of the cage. But in terms of biosecurity, um, this is definitely something I have to do. All right, there you go. This is my update for this week. Hope you have an awesome weekend and I'll talk to you soon. If you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe. Have a great day.